Welcome to Wednesday's Market Sit Rep here at Top Gun Options. Matthew Buckley, call sign Wiz, the primary and weekly options model portfolio manager here at TGO. And got a little bit of a, uh, a quote, relief rally, and then a little bit of a temper tantrum based on the uh, Fed minutes that were released this afternoon. It showed uh, that the Fed uh, kind of well, the, the written minutes confirm the Fed's actions after the meeting. The Bernack said, you know, fired a shot across the, the bow of USS Market, and then USS Market freaked the hell out, went through a temper tantrum along with world markets, and then his lieutenants ran out uh, literally to any microphone they could find and said, everybody relax, he's just kidding, we're going to be hanging out uh, for a while here. So, you know, as, as you can see, the market uh, literally, let's just take a look at a, a chart of what happened today. So far uh, and you can see where uh, you can see exactly to the second where the Fed minutes came out and uh, you know the market reacted and said well good the Fed should be creeped out about uh, you know easing at this point and then read the rest of the minutes and said well that's not good because they still want to ease so as we've talked about and I told all my traders at Top Gun Options there's always a but or a comma right uh, the Fed uh, we at the Fed believe X Y and Z blah 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 quack 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 however comma and then they talk out of the other side of the mouth so just know that you know with with the jobs report that we've discussed on friday which just did not light the world on fire with employers sending more and more uh full-time employees to part-time because of obamacare um the Fed's not going anywhere anytime soon. They saw the temper tantrum that the markets had, and it's just uh, it, it, it just wasn't uh, pleasant. So the, the biggest alligator, the closest alligator to our boat right now uh, are earnings. And we saw Alcoa's beat, quote unquote, on Monday. Really don't care about that. I'm going to be watching for Yum Brands, you know, obviously huge fast food uh, uh, operator and restaurateur around the world. And uh, more importantly, uh, on Friday, JP Morgan and uh, Wells Fargo. So starting to look at the, the financial. So th what's really going to drive this market over the next month or so uh, until we get the next Fed meeting? It always seems like the next Fed meeting is the most important Fed meeting ever. Well, guess what? The next one is probably going to be the most important one ever because we are going to uh, really figure out when, uh, instead of shooting across the bow, he's going to he's going to put a shot right into the side of USS Market, and we're going to uh, freak the hell out. Because, folks, obviously, interest rates can't stay this low forever. Interest rates are, are going to go up. It's not a matter of if, uh, but when. Uh, and the Fed's got to unwind that uh, over $3 trillion and most likely $4 trillion balance sheet that it has Unless they're going to go Russia and just wake up one day and say, you know what, uh, there is no balance sheet at zero. Um, or they just sit on it forever, which, you know, sounds like it's the new uh, America here. You know, just kick, keep kicking the can down uh, the road as far as you can. Good stuff going on in our weekly options model portfolio. Uh, have three uh, or two positions on uh, for the week. A, a, a Goog bull put spread that's up about 65% uh, in two and a half days or 1100 bucks. We have a, a bunch of Netflix trades on. Netflix had a nice little pop yesterday on a uh, on kind of old news that, uh, you know, a, a deal with CNBC. And I sold into that pop this morning. Uh, I sold the 250, 255 bear call spread that expires on Friday. And it's already up 640 bucks in a couple hours or a 45% gain in just a couple hours. So uh, I, I strongly, and you know, the overall portfolio is up 2,800 uh, bucks today. So having a great time in our weekly options model portfolio. Strongly recommend you take a test flight. You can click on the link uh, in this uh, in this email, or you can go to the uh, Top Gun Options homepage there, topgunoptions.com. Hover over services, and you can go uh, down, second drop down there is weekly options. Or if you're an old man like me, you go to topgunoptions.com slash weekly dash options, and you can give it a test flight. Okay, so uh, strap in, folks, for earnings. As, we t as I talked about in my primary live trade brief the other day, uh, this is the highest Pre negative pre-announcements uh, that we've seen since the first quarter of 2001. Uh, the highest ratio of negative to positive pre-announcement earnings. So it's not going to be a pretty earnings season, but as you know, kind of like with Alcoa, beating at seven cents, you know, the forecast was six and they beat at seven. They Their initial for earnings per share forecast, folks, a while ago was 70 cents, and they knew they weren't going to hit the ball over the net, so what did they do? Not only did they lower the net, they pulled the damn net off the court and essentially just rolled the ball, you know, down down the court. Embarrassing, uh, but that's the Wall Street game. 
right? It's sandbag, uh, under promise, uh, and and over deliver, right? So that's that's what we're going to see in this earnings season. So stand by for more volatility. But if you don't know what the hell you're doing, get on board Topkin Options in one of our live trading services or one of our trade alert services, uh, so you can stop uh, w with your neck hurting as we go through these triple digit up, triple digit down, and wander around the uh, the desert here. Okay, uh, have a great rest of the day. Happy hunting. Make sure you hedge, and I'll be back with uh, tomorrow's sit. Right, we'll see you.